What's up everyone? This is your boy Vincent aka Fresh of the Box and welcome to another unboxing video. First of all, thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. And uh, if you see a cartoon icon of myself in the box, just click on that to subscribe to my channel. So anyway, today I want to change it up a little, a little bit with the reviews. I've been reviewing a lot of action figures lately. But uh, today I want to uh, review this and unbox this very cool figure in front of me, which is the San Diego Comic Con 2023 Mecha Dumpster Fire DF209 by 100% Saw. If you're not familiar with 100% Soft, you can check out their website. And uh, also, uh, they specialize mostly on uh, vinyl figures and pins. So they've had a presence in, uh, in San Diego Comic-Con for a few years now. And uh, their, pretty much their booth is like always packed you know, because of the pins that they sell and the vinyl figures uh, that they sell as exclusives. And this year, this was their exclusive, which is pretty cool. And, uh, you know, one of their most famous items is the dumpster fire vinyl figure. And they have different versions of this dumpster fire. And they it's really cute and uh, great collectibles. You know, and also 100% stuff was started by Chuck Torrance. He is uh, an artist uh, that uh, create like very cool, uh, cute uh, vinyl figures. And uh, just can't wait to unbox this thing. All right. So before we check out the box really quick and uh, just a little bit of trivia, I think uh, kids from the 80s or 90s will recognize this more uh, and uh, as you can see here on the design of the mecha does it remind you of something uh, of a you know of a mecha back then uh, just uh, if you look at it carefully and the design and when I first I first saw it it reminded me of this and uh, if you're thinking about Robocop you got it right <laughs> you know it, this is uh, actually uh, this uh, mech design is based off of the ED-209 uh, mech uh, that was the villain in the Robocop 1 and uh, if you guys uh, go ahead and check that out really quick or you know watch rewatch Robocop um, that was the that was the big mech that uh, Robocop had, had to fight you know uh, at the end uh, so that's what the, this uh, mech design was based off so let's go ahead and check out the box uh, as you can see here in the top you can see the uh, San Diego Comic Con logo right there, 2023 exclusive, and I really like the 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 glossy finish that they put on the on the text right there. That's pretty nice. I really like that when they do that for the packaging, and uh, pretty much the whole box is like a uh, matte finish. And here, as you can see, on the right, you can see a little rat, uh, a real robo rat, <laughs> you know, as a uh, Robocop right there and then you have the uh, the other eye with the glasses I think that's the villain from um, from Robocop 1 or 2 I'm not really sure but they're fighting over the pizza <laughs> and on the back you have the blueprint of the DF-209 as you can see there check that out and you have a little um, barrel fire right there and the blue box with the face and here on the right you have a uh, toxic waste uh, rat ended up in the... I don't know if this was a scene in Robocop. I'm not sure. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure he got gunned down. But it, I don't know where this part where, where he... Uh, I don't know why they included him. This uh, rat uh, being uh, covered in toxic waste. So, bottom. Oh, here. Dumpster fire. For all ages, 100% so. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like the box, you know, even though it doesn't have like a window uh, packaging, but that's I'd rather, you know, uh, have the, you know, very cool design outside of the box. the mech out of the box and let's check out the contents that came with this uh, figure so it comes with an instruction sheet a pretty basic instruction sheet there uh, numbered tells you what to do and uh, I think it shows you how to apply the stickers also the decals right there and it comes with the decal sheet. so there's only like three uh, decals that you have to put on but uh, still pretty nice and uh, okay, so now 
you have the mech, uh, you have like the, fi uh, the fire on that you put on top of the mech. Check that out, man. Very nice. And I think this is metal. Right there, I think it's magnetized too. So, this the dumpster. Oh, gotta be careful with this. Oop. There you go. Check out the top. Nice detail on that. That's awesome. 100% soft corp. 100% you know, soft there at the bottom. I like how your logo is like everywhere. So, and uh, I think that this attaches to the back. And this one attaches to the head, I think. Yeah, or the dumpster. Some boosters right here. Uh, I can take it out right now. I'll take that out later. And uh, some side panels right here also. And then you have your uh, rat pilot right there. Check that out, man. Sitting comfortably. I don't think you're going to remove the rat pilot. <laughs> that. And then you have the legs right here. So um, can't really move the legs. So it just stays as is, like every vinyl figure. All right. So the labels are actually for the cockpit of the mech and uh, it goes on this one goes on the screen right here and on the side panels right here so let's go ahead and attach that all right so i attached the stickers to the cockpit already check that out very cool <laughs> now there's uh, more detail on where he's sitting at <laughs> dumpster fire with one of the uh, normal looking dumpster fires uh, so here on the right is the Japan LA exclusive so ever since 100% uh, soft made these uh, dumpster fires there have been different types of ex exclusives it's not just San Diego Comic Con exclusives and uh, New York Comic Con also they have their own exclusives and also this coming Halloween there's gonna be a, you know a Halloween exclusive I think it has like a pumpkin skin you know but this one is the Japan LA one which is pretty cool has like uh, stars, you know, and uh, different colors, which is pretty cool. Check that out, yeah, that fire, you know. So this is how a uh, normal looking dumpster fire uh, looks like. And as here at the bottom, you see the logo and uh, some wheels for the dumpster fire, but uh, it looks really cute. So that's how these uh, vinyl figures are. So, um, so pretty much uh, if you take out the legs of the mecha, you know, he just is almost the same size of the of the normal uh, dumpster fires. But if he does, aside from that, he doesn't have any wheels. I wish they made wheel attachments here at the bottom. But all he has are the legs. So let's reattach that. So, and that's how he compares to uh, other dumpster fires. All right. So now let's compare the Mecha dumpster fire to a Funko Pop vinyl figure. So here on the right, I have a Funko Pop Spider Man. And uh, as you can see, there's not really a big size difference. You know, it actually looks good standing next to other uh, figures. So uh, this is definitely a great display piece on your desk or in show. So overall, man, I'm really impressed with the Mecha Dumpster Fire, man. This is just a really cool figure to be honest with you guys. You know, it's just a great addition to your uh, collection. If you're a big fan of 100% Soft, you know, definitely got to grab this. Uh, you know, and it is a comic on exclusive and probably won't find this at their site anymore i didn't even find it there so here you can open the cockpit here for the rat yeah <laughs> you can see that check that out so you know that's really nice and uh you know i really like the how they designed this it doesn't look cheap you know um it's very well made you know it's like it's, uh, parts are magnetized come on there you go take that out put that on so, you know, you could disassemble this and put it back in the box, you know, without damaging it. And 
you know, it's just a nice, uh, a nice figure to be honest. You gotta check it out. You got the boosters in the back. Uh, one thing though I can say is that I wish the legs would move, so they don't have any articulation at all. So you know that's how it is. Uh, just uh, it'll be staying on your desk like this. But um, yeah, just a uh, uh, nice. Uh, I, it's just a nice. Uh, uh, representation of the ED-209 from Robocop. You know, whoever thought about the idea, oh, let's make a, a dumpster fire, you know, that, that's a mecha, but design it as the way, same way as the uh, ED-209 from Robocop. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just a, this is just a very cool figure. You know, um, nothing much else I can say that's negative about this, you know, but, uh, you know, just a nice, cool looking figure. And that was our review of the San Diego Comic Con 2023 Mecha Dumpster Fire DF209 vinyl figure by 100% soft. Check this figure out in hand. Here it is, man. It just looks great. So much detail to it. I wish it would light up. You know, they I didn't. Uh, they didn't put any LED lights on it, or it's not battery operated. But I think it's gonna cost more if they did that. And uh, you know. Uh, being at a, this one as an exclusive already, it just looks uh, fine as is. Uh, but lights would have been a great addition. So check it out. Here's the back. You know, you have your boosters there. So um, thing is, uh, sometimes the, the the legs fall off easily. So I'm holding it here at the bottom. But aside from that, everything else looks good. And here is the rat <laughs> uh, pilot. Check that out. So. Boom. So you can close that. So if you want this figure right now, unfortunately he sold out at Comic Con and it's not on the 100% soft website. And uh, he's probably going for double the price. Now I forget how much we got this for. But um, yeah, um, you might have to go through eBay or Mercari or even Facebook. If you're in a like a vinyl figure toy group, you might want to check that out and you do you can do some trades or see if someone's selling this figure. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.